Greetings ladies and gentle people, and welcome to Sunless Sea. You'll notice very briefly there that I am in windowed mode. Unfortunately, the reason for that is this game does not seem to like being in full screen for very long while you're recording it. it tends to crash. Uh, hopefully everything's going to be okay though. Uh, this game though, if you've played uh, FTL before, is a game kind of like that, only where FTL is kind of nice and... In a way, about how it tries to kill you, Sunless Sea tries to do it in a manner that is a lot darker, a lot harsher, and tries to do it a lot more often. So yeah, just think about a sea-based FTL that's a lot more mean. If you got that thought in your head, then you've got a pretty good idea of what Sunless Sea is. Anyone who has not played FTL, well, don't worry, we'll see what it is shortly. Now we're going to play a brand new game. I played briefly, I kind of like my captain. Uh, you can see that we don't have a lot of options for saving, so by doing this, my captain's gonna be dead. But, hey, whatever. The game tells you repeatedly that you will die, and in fact, I will tell you right now, I'm probably gonna die in this game. The game tells you you're gonna die in this game. It's kind of weird that way. But alright, let's play. I also really like the music, I should let you know that now. Alright, Captain's Making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. <laughs> I should have warned you, this game has a sense of humor. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Undersea. Now we have to choose a past, decide who we want to be. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. Okie dokie. Who were you? Now you're a captain. Now you belong to the Undersea. But who were you before? I could be a street urchin. Uh, I get essentially sneaky, stealthy kind of stuff. Makes it harder for people to see me. That's kind of good for not getting killed. Uh, I could be a poet. I'm not really sure what that gains me. Pages and a skill of trickery and knowledge. I could be a veteran of the campaign of 68, which makes me a better fighter, which you don't, don't, don't do in the beginning of the game. Don't fight things. Run. Run, 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 run as fast as your freaking little boat can take you. I can be ordained a priest. You fell from grace. There is nothing left ashore for you. An anonymous benefactor has found this way out for you. Perhaps at Z you can overcome your appetites. Um, you can kind of guess what happened to you as a priest. Yeah, yeah, like I said, games got a sense of humor. Uh, natural philosopher, mere skill of deception and perception, detection, perception, sorry. So I guess we can find people who are trying to be hidden. I don't know. I'm going to go with street urchin simply because it's the top, no, not because I know how this game works. Street urchin it is. All right. Low cunning on the high seas, your friend, another Longshanks, knows little of gunnery. Only a little, but she can help. Talk to him to find out why she went to Z. Yeah, the game does need a little bit of editing. Talk to him to find out why she went? What? What is that? Who knows? Alright, so we have a gunner. I've gained 25 veils. Does that tell me what it is? Yes, it does. Speed, stealth, deception. Decreases the range at which enemies will spot you. Very, very nice. Uh... We gain two e 10 echo and now have a total of 60. That is the currency of the game. Uh, of this, well, most ports. Uh, street Urchin, we have Z Captain. Your stranger quality is gone. Now I can choose why I'm even here. Why do I have this ship? Why am I out to Z? Kind of like Elder Scrolls. We kind of decide what reason we are to even be here. We can be retrieving my father's bones. Eh, screw that one. I'm a street urchin, what do I care? Fulfillment, gather a hundred tales and learn all you can of the Z, right on Masterpiece. Nah. Wealth, there we go. That's a street urchin for you. You know how it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servants, fine clothes, a family, perhaps. Let's go and take that. Uh, beyond the dreams, the under Z is full of riches. Death and darkness, too, but it's worth the gamble. To win, gather a substantial retirement fund. Upgrade your lodgings to a mansion and retire. There we go. That's the game. That's why we're playing. 
All right, let's see. Last scrap of paperwork, Captain, Captain. An irregularity with the Hovermaster's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore? So, you know, we can be female, we can be male, we can just be citizen, we can be addressed as milady, Captain. Um, what do you think, Captain or Sir? Nah, not Sir, let's do Captain. Yeah, we're Captain. Captain, my Captain. Captain will do perfectly well ashore as well as at sea. Thank you, Captain. It is. Last piece of advice. Explore. Take chances. This captain will probably die. <laughs> the Z is hungry, but each captain passes on lessons to the next. So it tells you the beginning of the game. Dude, you're gonna die. We're gonna be Dwyer'n, of course. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Dwyer'n's gonna be dead, but whatever. Alright, fall in London. Deep, dark, and marvelous. All voyage start here, and this is where successful joy voyages end. Uh, my lodgings, not really a lot there. We can read the morning paper, which gives us one recent news, which we can use to learn stuff. It's kind of weird how this game works. Uh, that's not important, because so I'm not reading it. I can't do this, because you see it's locked. I don't have, like, a thousand echo for this. I don't have the blind helmsman. We don't have terror yet. By the way, here's our terror. This, this is a thing. This is a real thing. Our crew will get frightened, and if the fright gets out of control, they'll turn on each other. If the hunger gets out of control, they'll eat each other. If you run out of fuel, you're going to run out of food, and you're going to die eating each other. Isn't that wonderful? Ah, oh, what a nice game. Alright, back to the city. We should just go to London. Go to the Admiralty Survey Office. This is how we're going to get our money in the beginning of the game. Let's see. The Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligence networks are long gone. The survey office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. Visit and investigate ports to gain port reports and trade them in here. The first time you trade in a port report, you'll gain Admiralty's favor. Do you need anything? Speak to our agent there in return. See that you're well rewarded. So yeah, get port reports. Got it. Uh, don't have anything else. Do you have anything else for us? No, you don't. All right, so yeah, that's what we need to do, I think. We can't do anything else there, right? I'm right about that? You don't have an appointment? Yeah, okay, I thought so. All right, so anything else in London? Uh, modest challenge, we can hire on more crew, but I don't think we really need it. I mean, we've got, we've got eight right now. I think eight's okay. Don't need to repair because we haven't been out. Tomb colonist, here we go. Pay an, an immigrant will pay to be taken north to vendor bite. Let's see, here we go. It's oddly difficult to die in fallen London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. The tomb colonists is in your hold. Take them north to the colony of Enderbite and sell them there. We're kind of selling people. Hope you guys don't mind that. So all right, there's our first quest. Go north to Enderbite. Cool. Uh, I think that's about it. Perhaps not. Let's see. We've got five. Uh, I'd feel a little bit better. Yeah, I know. I feel. Thank you. A little bit better. If maybe. Maybe we buy a little bit more fuel or supplies? I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, I know. Echo's lost. So there we are. We have six supplies. Those are food. Right? I want to buy fuel as well. We've got 10. We've got 10. It's probably smart too. It's probably smart to blow all of our money. Yeah, let's buy one more fuel. And one more supply. So we blew all of our cash on that. We've got like 10 echoes left. We're really, really poor. So here we go. We are going to hit E to launch. Immediately sending out a bat, we use WASD to control. Our ship is very, very new. We get almost nothing. But you can see Hunter's Keep here has been found. We marked it. And now the bat's right there, so we know that something's there if we wish to investigate it. Disable tutorial, thank you. So we know that there's something up there. We're not going to pay attention to it. What's the hotkey for this? Oh, Christ, I can't see it. I think it's L. I'm in windowed mode because the thing keeps crashing in full screen. 
I'm avoiding this area here because there's typically a pirate. And what's this one? Oh god, I don't know. I think that's F. Or E. I don't know. Sorry, I can't read the hotkey. No, not E. E is battle. Must be F. I'm gonna send out a bat. Your enemies can see the bat and they know something's in the area and they will try to, you know, kill you. Bender bite is to the north. I can hit M if I want. And I can see, yep, straight north. That's where we're going. Careful. Right now. Shoot. You're fast. We're gonna be faster. I don't wanna fight. Fighting right now is bad. All clear, get out of here. Burns extra fuel by going uh, full power. Don't wanna do that. Oh, so bad, so bad. All clear, man, no battle, no battle, we're good. Oh, we got the vendor bite. It's a good thing I actually paid for the extra fuel because we just burned it getting away from that guy. Because the thing is, here's my haul, right? Let's pause this game. Here's my haul, right? And I take damage. Well, if I lose all my haul, I'm dead. And repairing it costs a lot. So you don't want to take damage in the beginning of the game or you're going to be out of money and die. I mean, we already can't afford repairs. Getting into a fight right now doesn't cover it. That was just one of the ways this game tried to kill you really early on in the game. Let's go ahead and dock. Alright, the trouble with tomb colonists. You brought this decaying immigrant north, now what? Help out an immigrant. Your tomb colonist passenger yanks off her bandages. She looks remarkably healthy for a tomb colonist. I'm not as dead as I look, she confesses. And I won't get ashore without your help. Yes, the constables are looking for me back home. Is that a problem? I could say no and then just be good, or I can just make no promise and just leave her to her fate. Now, we're a street urchin, we should be helping her. We should be helping her, right? I mean, come on, why not? Alright, help out an immigrant, right? Muffled oars. You slip your furtive passenger past the skin check post and the confirmation of consolation. Thanks, Captain Shamarks, casually. Let me teach you a couple of tricks, just in case you do this again. Uh, and here's a little hush money. So we gain one minute, which means we're a rapscallion. In other words, the authorities are going to be paying more attention to us, and they're going to exercise—they're going to not exercise our ship. They're going to uh, search our ship quite fiercely for anything that might be illegal. Uh, let's see. Right, we lost her. We gained 200 echo, so that's cool. We brought a criminal aboard, <laughs> and we gained a veil, which is again speed, stealth, perception. So it's good, that's good. What else do we have here? We want to explore Vendor Bite. I think. Yes, we did. Dead fir trees have mm, carpeted a little park with old brown needles. A little group of tomb colonists stands around another lying on a bench. Unexpectedly, you find yourself reminded of physicians and midwives at a birth at a birthing couch? Okay. The colonist on the bench, he's old, withered to sticks, groans horribly, though the fur needles deaden the sound. Something moves in the ch in his chest, like a sea creature surfacing or a butterfly breaching a cocoon. That does not sound pleasant. The other colonists spot you and close ranks around him. Stay back, silkskin, one hisses. This is his breaking out. Your time will come. There's a kind of rapture in her voice. We've gained fragments, which is lore. Um, we've gained a Tale of Terror now, which we can use. That's going to be uh, currency later. And we've gained extra terror, just what we wanted. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I can gather gossip. We now have the port report, which we needed. Uh, what else can we do? Visit the first curator. Oh, right. This guy takes up like almost all of our hold with this quest. Yeah, I'm not going to go into this yet. We're probably going to accept it later at some point. He wants like seven colors, and we get like seven books on the seven colors. Not really sure what's going on here. I just know that the seven books in our hold take up a lot of space. So screw that crap. Uh, we'll, we'll go for now. Grand Sanatorium. Yeah, we're silk skins because we're not dead. Pretty much. We're not going to accept the permission yet. We're going to continue. Anything else? Anything else? No, there isn't. All right. So here's the deal. We've got some extra cash. Yeah, like our hold is 15 of 40. Those books take up a lot of it, so I don't really want to do that right now. 
I should have done this a while ago. Let's speak to her. Um, why'd you come to Z? Khan Shadow. It's like the flit at Z, right? No one to tell you what to say or do, and no one to kick you downstairs just because you got a little bit of tall. I'll be a faithful officer, but put me ashore at the Shadow and I won't forget you. Khan Shadow is east of... Can I, I've never actually seen this place, so when we find it, you'll know. Um, let's see, increase your iron, that requires a secret. I don't think I want to increase my iron, though. I want to increase the other things. We're not going to be gunners and, like, warriors. We're going to be, like, quiet people and hiding. Um, I feel that I want to buy fuel. I want to back to town on fuel. Our food is good, we're going to get the 80 anyway. There. We have 11 fuel. I didn't quite spend all my cash, but, you know, got pretty close. Now here's the deal. Um, pause, because while we're here we're still burning fuel. Here is the world. We went from here to here. There's so much left. I think I want to explore around in here, then go over, down, and then around. So pick up the reports that are in this area, wherever they happen to be. Hopefully not die. Then make a bunch of money when we come back to London. That's our goal. Pause, launch, go north. Fire off a bat. See if you can tell us what's around the area. Gonna keep doing that. Whoa, whoa, not good. Bats on right, bats up. Alright, now you have to think about what to do, because those bats are gonna be a dick. Fighting them is a bad idea. They're gonna leave us alone? Alright, I'm gonna sh go directly west. See if we can avoid the bats. I do not, do not want to turn off my light. But I might. Pickett's Bluff. I'm not going to go in there. We're going to go on the other side. Nice and bright. We've got snow up here. That could work against us. There might be a monster that I can't see. That would be bad. No, there he is. Kill lights. <gasps> no, wrong button. Shit. Okay, I guess we're gonna be fine. Dang it. Yeah, that was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. I admit. Wrong button. I guess we're fine. Get the sensor's arch before we're attacked. Please, 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 please. Uh you can see we don't have our max, uh, yeah, we can only go to one right now, and the reason for that is the weather we're in. There we go. All clear. Alright, so I meant to hit, not this, I meant to hit the light, oh well. We're in wither now, that's good. What's not good is I don't have almost any information on what's around us. I added that to my chart, whatever it was. We docked in Wither. Wither's actually a bad place to be. Let me show you why. Notice how these are not echoes? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be here. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any currency to actually, you know, do that. Suffice it to say, not the advice, sorry. Wither, let's explore the town. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of greystone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. Alright, high risk challenge, 50% chance of success. We're going to ignore this one. Uh, 31. Sometimes I've tried this, but I'm not risking it. Nah, we're just going to enjoy our troglodyte. We've lost hunger. We've lost terror because we've been fed. And we've got some fragments for our uh, lore. Wither, we also need to gather intelligence. Straightforward challenge. 
The folk of Wither are quiet and sly and mystical. They subsist on cave fish and a dust burrowing beasts of the waste. Their beer, however, is adequate. Let's gather intelligence first. That's our report. So I want to waste 50 echo for shore leave and wither. 50 echo, 50 echo. That's, uh, that's over a, hmm. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to say no. We'll be back this way. Don't worry, we'll be back this way. Launch. We've got something to the east. That's where we're headed. Going to stay out of the weather. We're going to turn off. Come on, don't follow me. I'm going to here. Man, it's got really, really crappy weather right now. This is so bad. Turn this back on. When we have the light off, our terror rises because they hate the dark. They do not like the dark at all. But alright, let's go. Let's put it in codex. There we go. The Isle of Codex. A desperate cave full of mute exiles and an inexplicable colony of shivering, bad-tempered monkeys. Let's see, we can't do this because we don't have... Searing Enigma. Compile a port report is all we can do here, but at least we can buy things if we had to. So this is actually a friendly place to be. And I will spend... One on fuel just makes myself feel better. Launch. Frostbound is to the east. We're headed there. Uh, let's see, we don't. We're gonna. We're avoiding any and all combat. What's this? Fire off a bat. Oh, the music made me jump. Oh my god. Oh, is this Frostbound? Yes, it is. And the port south of here. Yeah, Frost found. I'm sorry, not bound. Now, the music isn't always there, but when it's there, it's always your friend. I haven't heard any music in this game that I have not enjoyed yet. Where do we put in? I'm not really sure what this place is. South? Is it there? Maybe. Stoddard's Haven, huh? Yeah, we got this. Something awaits you in port. Whoa, don't crash. That hurts my hull as well. Alright, docked. Frostbound towers and ramps and galleries and stairs of ice raised and spun like an architect's honey dream. Uh, engage an officer, tireless mechanic, afternoon, and ready to offer my services. I'm an engineer, find us you'll ever hire. Treat engines like my own children. <laughs> Not that I have children. Too busy. Usually busy. Uh, tireless mechanic, uh, 20 echo for a tireless mechanic. I might do that. I can see I can see hiring him. Because keep in mind, our, do we, can we do our officers? Like, I don't have a cook, officer, engineer, or a surgeon yet. I have a gunnery officer and a mascot. That's it. Uh, let's see. Take tea with the squires of the dock. Some of them wear the robes of the Aremi riddle fishers. Some of them look of withering folk, but even more ragged. They do seem a little more practical than either of those peoples. Okay. Surprisingly warm welcome. Alright, so we've lost terror. We've gained a supply. Nice. Pleasant things happened. We've gained a fuel. Ah, <sighs> I love you. You are my heart. You are my heart. Create a port report. And let's get the mechanic. I'm loath to spend my money, but do it. It means we're going to take more uh, supplies when you have more people, clearly. Um, so yeah, officers, you are going to go... And be the NG. Let's go and give you a talk to. What have you got? Let it invite him to dine with you. I'm kind of don't not wanting to do that because my first captain kind of got in trouble by just like inviting to dine with everybody that I saw, 
and somehow I wound up in a relationship with someone. So I don't know if I want to dine with this guy. And it takes away a very valuable supply. Keep in mind, we're north of hell. So I don't want to do that. Secret. Increase my veils. I could do that. Maybe not yet. That's not going to go away unless he dies. Which I don't think he is. We're not hungry. We're not going to eat him. <laughs> Seriously, that can happen. Alright, let's leave. Shops. No shops available. No ships available. This is a dangerous place to be. We could get stranded here. Pause. Thank you. Alright, so we haven't found anything else. Uh, could go east still. We hit the codex, so it didn't get fully revealed. Oh god, how, how, how brave am I? Do I go east still, or do I go down? I think I go down now. I vote down. Yeah, because there's something here. You can kind of tell there's something here. So go down, over, then we'll go back up through here and get whatever this is, and then go over again. And then we'll loop over, and then maybe go back and around, and just like work in these loops that keep giving me port reports. All right, let's let's launch. Let's launch. Throw out a bat. Reveal your secrets. I hate going down, especially right now because I'm in a windowed mode. I can't see all of what's underneath here. Okay, we've got this. What is that? It's right below me. Something's right below me. Something's right over here too. What? About face. No, don't about face. Shoot. That, ladies and gents, is a pirate. I'll put in port here. Well, think about this. Do I want to go back up? It's going to waste fuel, but there's something... Surely not. Could there really be two ports up there so close together? I don't know, man. The morn is a stalagmite, vast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbors. The Corsair Citadel nestles halfway up, an intricate system of winches that takes the strain. And your ship rises slowly from the Z, her hull creaks in protest. Grizzled sailors groan and cling. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine so if your ship starts to, you know... This ship is supposed to be, like, in the water, starts rising out of it. Uh, higher and higher, now the undersea shimmers like glass below. Children clambering in the crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. The winch motor slows, and you hang in the cradle next to a red bowed pirate cutter. Or er, bowed, sorry. Kind of like the thing that's over there. You couldn't see me, I was actually pointing to the pirate ship. <laughs> that's like over here. Um, really? I need more veils. I've gained a terror? What? An afternoon? A drinking den by the dock cradles, a good place for your crew to find companionship, let off steam, but all low. Uh, Gators Morn is a free port, Corsairs prefer their own, and look askance at respectable Londoners. Conversation quietens. As the drinkers look around, you've been here too long, you're attracting the wrong kind of attention. Time to move on. We just gained a terror. Shoot. Do we try it? 70% rolling. Unusual activity. The whisper is that a uh, Kane uh, Tremarin resupplied here last week under the flag under a flag of careful truce. That implies something interesting about the Kane fleet movements. The Admiralty would love to know. All right, we gained, we we did it, we did it, boys. Let's get the hell out of here. Do we go back up or do we leave? Do we go back up or not? Do we go back up or not? I still got echoes. I still got echoes. Ah, oh, well that guy here, I vote we just get out of I vote we just get out. We'll save the other port for later. Launch. We're gonna cut west immediately away from the pirate that's to our east. Send off a bat. That might alert him, but we're on the other side of uh, the morn, so I don't not too not too worried. Yeah, Bright is right above us. I want to go back to it. Nothing within range. Oh god. 
That thing is huge. I'm doing a little bit stupid. I'm going to cut further east and see if I can get on the other side of him. I'm not going to throw it back because it might. We're out of here. That thing is a different. Oh, God. It's in a class all by itself. We can't even hope to fight it. We need to get out of here. We need to get the crap out of here immediately. There's pirates to the east of us, there's pirates south of us, and one of them's in like a, uh, a higher class vessel too, so that thing can break us like candy. Alright, we'll go west and then we'll go south, and then we'll try to angle back east. So we leave the center uh, all alone. Might as well get... Ooh, I must try to run away from... <laughs> now this could be good or bad. This highlights us. Which helps against terror. But... Oh, there's fog down here. Okay, I can rock if we can put in somewhere. We can't, I don't think. Is this anything? I don't think so. You see my map, sir? No? No? Whoa. Yeah, that thing right there. He looks like he's in trouble. Not that I'm about to go investigate. Screw that, man. I do need more. Station, yes. Where to? Going. Hopefully nothing between them and us. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Cross your eyes. Cross your fingers. Yep. Looks good. Looks safe. Station 3. Alright. Not seeing any monsters. Not seeing any pirates. Let's put in. Get another report. Oh, I need to get... That thing was gonna hurt. Monster. Looks small. Looks silly, but... Whatever. I might need to also buy another... Maybe buy more food? Not sure. Quick turn. Dock. Alright, we've docked at Station 3. We are on our way back to London to turn in our port reports. Get money, money, money. Then see what happens. So join us for that in Episode 2, where we return to London.